What is the 3D Modeler? The 3D Modeler is an efficient tool to build 3D geometry. The Modeler is based on the geometrical kernel ACES 3D developed by Spatial Technology from Dassault System. We have lots of functionalities to create 3D objects. It is possible to make extrusion from 2D sketch. And finally, you can make CAD imports with correction and simplification tools. How to use the 3D Modeler? We have two strategies to use the modeler. First one, to, through, th through 3D objects, you can use primitives, boolean operations, and fillets, chamfers, and other uh, functionalities. The second strategy is to use the 2D sketch and then to make an extrusion, which can be linear or circular ex extrusion. The modeler is able to combine the two methods. And finally, of course, it is possible to use geometrical parameters. The available, available functionalities of uh, the 3D modeler are first the primitives. We have block, cylinder, cone. You can use Boolean operations such as the union, the intersection, subtraction, and the assembly. You can use fillets and chamfers on the edge and on vertex. Also, we have symmetries and circular and linear repetitions. You can displace your object through translation and rotation. And you can create objects from a sketch. To create a sketch, you have to select the reference plane on which the sketch will be created. And then you create your sketch and you can enter in the 2D sketcher. Once the 2D sketch created, you can make the extrusion in the 3D modeler, which can be linear, circular or hel helicoidal. The last functionalities for the 3D modeler are the following. We have the possibility to make defeaturing and to cut objects. The defeaturing is allows to remove fillets, chamfers and holes and you can cut your object uh, using reference planes. How the modeler works? In the modeler we have two important entities which are the geometrical operation and the object. The geometrical operation is the action you make in the modeler. All the actions you, you do in the modeler are stored as geometrical operations. This entity guarantees the life cycle of your creation, modification, deletion life cycle. Then, uh, for the object, one object can be one or several flux volumes. And the object contains the geometrical operations applied on it. For example, if we create a block and we apply a fillet on the block, if you edit the object block, you will see that here you have two geometrical operations, which are the block creation and then the fillet creation. And after you can modify, for example, the block dimension, and you can see that the two operations are replayed and we update your device to your modification. For the compatibility between the modeler and the flux context, we have always the possibility to open the modeler and the flux context. If you have a geometry created in the modeler, you can open it on flux context. And if you have an old flux context project, you can open it in, in the modeler. And in the flux context, it's, it's as before. You can create physical regions which are defined still with flux volumes. In more details, for the flux old project management, if we have a flux project with two volumes and we open it in the modeler, we will have still two volumes and one object for all the volumes of your device. But it is possible for you to split the object to have the same number of objects as the number of volumes. 
Of course, after you open an old project in the modeler, you can modify the geometry in the modeler. <laughs>